not just inflation Venezuela is worried about, it's also failing to meet its financial obligations. The Wall Street Journal says the country missed a $74 million bond payment to its creditors. I spoke to John Maisto, former U.S. ambassador to Venezuela, and I asked him why the country defaulted on that payment. That report is out, to be sure. The Wall Street Journal carried it. Um, I think uh, it's, the story is not over yet. Uh, it is indeed a, a curious uh, uh, bond default. Uh, nobody who understands anything about financial markets uh, uh, can figure out why uh, the Venezuelans would do this. Uh, why, do you, why do you think they did well, this? Well, there are a variety of uh, possibilities. Uh, it, uh, it could be a measure they decided they were going to do, and now they're going to think about it again because they do have interest in uh, getting uh, some more financial uh, penetration uh, of, of Venezuela. Maybe they'll have second thoughts. Uh, it could be a, an overabundance of uh, some political considerations just to lash out at, uh, at the opposition because uh, there uh, is an opposition family that has a minority position in, in that particular steel uh, operation. Um, or it, it could be some bureaucratic uh, interaction that, um, that uh, resulted in what came out. I mean, po uh, politically it, it's, the Venezuelan situation is not clear internally with regard to any of these decisions. This is a big test. I mean, the, the administration there has been in place now for a few months after the death of Chavez, and a lot of people around the world are, are looking at this this country to see what changes and reforms might come to place. I mean, this is certainly doesn't seem like to be the right way to start off uh, building international relations by defaulting on $70 million bond payment. Uh, my impression is uh, we shall see if this holds up, uh, because they surely have to uh, uh, understand uh, the effect uh, this is causing in, uh, in markets. Any of the industries that are trying to build up some of that, or a lot of that, requires international foreign direct investment. Correct. And if bond payments aren't being made, that's going to scare away a lot of international investors, and that's probably an understatement, but they surely must understand that. I would agree that they surely must understand that. Uh, I would also note that the incentives for Venezuelan bonds are pretty meaty, pretty high, uh, and there's, as people who invest in bonds. No, there's always a risk. Um, but uh, but uh, again, we have to see how they're going to come out of it. Uh, it's puzzling. It makes no sense, really, in today's financial world for Venezuela to do this if Venezuela is truly interested in attracting uh, uh, foreign investment. This is a pittance of, uh, of, the, the, uh, of the, 70, the, 70, the 70 million. But there is a angst. There is inflation. There is much needed investment. I mean, there's a lot of critical economic needs that the state still hasn't fully addressed. The people you're talking to on the ground, what are they hoping for over the next year or two? Venezuelans want improvement across the board of their lifestyles. No matter your, the social class that you're in in Venezuela, they are concerned about shortages, of basics that we read about in the newspaper. They're concerned about inflation. I saw a recent statistics, I don't know if it's true, that uh, the uh, Venezuela's inflation this year is going to be in the high 40s. Um, that does not bode well. There are foreign exchange difficulties that affect everybody. Uh, there's freedom of movement uh, to, to be sure, but there are, uh, uh, levels of uh, Venezuelan economic activity that don't seem to make much sense. The one reality that persists and will continue to persist is good income for Venezuela due to the sale of oil. And as long as the price of oil remains high, um, we'll probably see these uh, conflicting approaches to dealing with economic uh, uh, problems uh, that are going to be um, supported at the same time by high oil price.